Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to finish our installation of the Slim Framework and as a matter of fact we're going to get this little script here up and running right. This is a little sample script from the Slim website and the vibe is that you type you know forward slash hello on the URL and then forward slash Chico, Starsky, I don't know, Ambrose, anything you want, and it's going to put your name on the screen, okay? So that's the vibe, and what a glorious vibe it shall be. So, um, here is our My Slim Site folder, and I want you to go into that folder and create a brand new one, brand new folder that is, and we're going to call it Public, okay? Can you handle that? It's a new folder, and it's called Public. Okay, next, I want you to open up your favourite text editor in the whole universe and then I'm going to create a new file, let's call it index.php and in this file, can you guess what's going to go there? Yes, we're going to add in the code that's straight from the uh, Slim website, so let's paste this in, okay, and there we go. And when we run this, we're going to get an error message, okay? So if we go in here, you can see that we've got an error, failed to open stream, no such file, blah, 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 blah. The reason why we have this error is because we are inside the public folder. So we need to go out of the folder with dot, dot, slash, and then we'll be just fine, okay? So if we do that, the error is going to go away, but we still have some work to do before this thing is fully functional, okay? Now, time out. I want to say a few words about modern frameworks. You know, um, this script is basically, as I was saying, the idea is that you're going to type in index. You can see I've been practicing, by the way, you know, um, forward slash all of this stuff here, and it's going to say, hello, David, right? Okay, that's the vibe. Uh, there's a really common mistake that lots of developers make, at least people who are just starting out, you know, and the vibe is that they follow the instructions and they do everything right, but then when they do hello forward slash Chico, the thing doesn't work, you know, and this happens with all of the modern frameworks. It happens with things like Symfony and Zend, you know, and all of the new stuff. This kind of thing happens all the time, and there's lots of people who come into this type of thing with every great intention and they run into all sorts of errors and they get depressed and then they chuck it, okay? Now, I don't want that to happen to you, so let me just tell you what's going on. If that kind of thing ever happens with any framework, then the chances are that the script is looking at segments here, right? And it's looking at the first segment and the second segment and all of that stuff. But when we go up here, right, uh, well, check this out. Localhost is a segment, right? Index.php is a segment. We got segments to the left, segments to the right. I mean, there's segments here, there and everywhere. So no wonder the things sometimes get a bit mixed up, you know? So if you've ever played around with any new framework and things just don't seem to be going well and all of that stuff, then maybe it's because you've got all of these segments everywhere, you see? The solution? It's quite simple, folks. We need to set up a virtual host, okay? The time has come, folks. We need to basically move away from using this local host stuff so that we have a nice short URL, something that just says, my slim site, forward slash hello, forward slash David, you know? Something like that, and everything should be cool. So, that's what this is all about from here onwards. We want to change this so that it's a nice, neat web address, okay? That's the vibe. Here we go. So, the way to do this is, first of all, we're going to get rid of this index.php thing here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to create an ht access file. And I know you've done this before, right? So .ht access, yes, here we go. You know, we're just going to make up an ht access file. And uh, this is the stage in the process where I actually cheat 
because I've got some notes here and, and I'm going to refer to them. I'm using two screens, by the way, and I have another screen on the right hand side with some notes. And uh, I'm going to pretend I'm really intelligent and that I can remember all of this stuff, okay? So as I'm doing this, I want you to follow along and I want you to say, wow, this guy is awesome and be really impressed, okay? And I'll just pretend I've memorized all of this. So uh, what we want to type, folks, join in with the fun. It's rewrite engine space on, okay? Can you handle that? And then rewrite cond, capital C there, and then space percentage sign, curly brackets, request underscore file name, space out hyphen F for Freddy, and then the same again, but hyphen D, and then we're gonna go rewrite rule, and then the caret symbol, space, index.php, square bracket, Q, S, A, comma, L. Okay, so that's the file, and we just need to save that, right? That's the HT access. Thank you very much indeed. Next, we need to tell Zamp about this new uh, virtual hosting, you know? So we're gonna go into the Zamp folder. Here it is here, folks. And with a bit of luck, I'm actually going to remember this. I think it's in, let me see, oh yeah, XAMPP files, and then this etc folder, then extra, and then we have this file that says blah, 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 dash v host, right? So open this thing up. Here we go. And we're going to add in a new virtual host. So it's actually very simple, folks. Make sure... You've got this line here, right? So name virtual host space star 80. Just chuck that in. And then copy one of these, right? You know, it can be this one, or I'm going to go with this one. You may have different vibes. It's okay. But copy one of those sons of a guns. Paste in. And then we're going to add in the path. So it's my slim site. Oh, sorry. It's my slim site forward slash public. There we go, okay, so that's the path, thank you very much indeed. And here where it says server name, we're just going to write my slim site, okay. Hit save, it's as easy as that folks, it's as easy as that. Now, next comes the bit where we need to go to the hosts file, okay, so if we open up the finder, uh, choose go, and then go to folder, and the path that we want to go to on a Mac is forward slash private, forward slash etc, forward slash hosts, and then we choose go, okay? We want to open this file up here. Now, Windows users, don't you worry, man, I've got you covered. Let me drag in my notes here. Um, Windows users, you want to go here, okay? So it's C, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and then choose the bit that says Show All Files, right? You'll have a little window there. It's on the bottom right-hand side, and you'll see the host's file. That's where the action is, right? So we need to open up. I'll get rid of this. We need to open up this file, like so. And you'll probably see a few things that look like this. I'm just going to copy the one that says 127.0.0.1. I'm going to paste in here. And right about here, I'm going to write my slim site, okay? We're going to save that. Now, it may ask you for an administrator password because it's kind of a system file. But that's all cool. We just do that and everything's just fine. Um... Next, we're going to restart the server. So here we go. So we'll stop that. And then we're going to restart it. Come on. I don't know what's going on. You know, I have the, the slowest laptop ever here, but that's okay. It's actually quite a new one, you know, but that's just the way it goes. So I'm restarting the Apache web server. Yes, thank you very much indeed. And... With a little bit of luck, 
uh, if we go to http colon slash slash my slim site you can see that I've been practicing this I did actually cheat uh, hello Chico <laughs> And with a bit of luck, there we go, hello Chico, it's all cool, yes indeed, it's all happening, and there it is, okay. Um, by the way, folks, just to stress the point again, you know, I was saying in the first video, there are moments when you may not know exactly how something works, like, for example, an HD access file or something like that. It's perfectly okay, you know, um, and I can guarantee that if you're watching a web development tutorial on YouTube and someone's just flying through all of this stuff, there's like a 90% chance they're referring to notes somewhere, you know. Uh, I had to do a little practice run here, you could probably notice that, but it's okay, you know. The main vibe is, could you repeat the task if you had to do this again, okay? I mean, okay, you know, you may have to look look up some things, but could you repeat the task? That's all we're looking for here. And if you followed this tutorial, congratulations, because you now know how to set up um, a virtual host. And as a matter of fact, that's us. Slim is now ready to rock and roll. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.